Sarah from S Welcome Makeup and today I'm going to be doing a pet haul for you. Now I do have quite a lot of animals, I've got a dog, a cat, a rabbit and quite a lot of fish. So I've got a few different products to share with you today that I thought would be perfect for everyone and I just wanted to say thank you so much to the Pet Collective for offering me the opportunity to get some cool new products for my animals and I'm sure they'll be so excited. So I'll just start off by telling you a little bit about each of my animals. First off is my dog Millie. Now she is a Lars Apso crossed with a Maltese, so she's quite small and white, and she is three this year. Then we've got my kitten Archie, who is just over five months old, and I got to him for my birthday this year. And he is a ragdoll crossed with a Tiffany. And then there's the rabbit, who is called Smudge, and I got him also for my birthday this year, but a couple of months before, um, as like an early birthday present for my wife. Had. So he lives outside in the hut, and he is Millie and Archie's best friend. And then last of all we've got the fish, they're in a tropical tank and we've had that set up for about 6 months now and it's become quite a little hobby of mine and my boyfriends to just kind of like upgrade the tank and do different things with it and it's just nice to kind of keep fish and watch them swimming around, it's quite nice to watch. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first product I'll show you is from my dog Millie and it's a little toy, it looks like this, it's an elephant with a really long ropey green neck and he's just purple and he's got little squeaky sections in the head and the body. It's actually from their puppy section but I found that a lot of the puppy toys are actually a little bit more girly looking than the adult dog toys because they're all kind of black and Millie's quite a girly girl so I thought that she'd like this one. And then also for Millie, I got some of her favourite ever treats. These are chicken strips and they have little chunks of cheese in them. If you want Millie to do something, you've got to give her one of these treats. This is just kind of like her favourite ever thing in the world and she knows them as sweeties. So if you say sweeties to her, she'll come running and show you that she wants these. And then lastly for Millie is this, which is kind of a scary looking contraption, but this is really, really handy for being out in the countryside. So this is basically a, it's called a tie out steak and you spiral this in ground and then you can attach the lead to this so when she's got her harness on um, we can put her in the garden and put this on she's got a nice long lead to run around in and she won't escape anywhere because our garden isn't actually fenced off so it's nice to keep her safe with this one. Next lead for our kitten Archie I got him a collar and also a little matching tag with his name engraved on it. Now this is just a blue kind of leather look um, collar with little silver fish on it and a bell which is really cute. I'm not sure he's too keen on this at the moment maybe he's a little bit too but as he gets older we'll put this on him and when he starts going outside we can put his little chip on and he won't get lost. Next up for Archie I've got him this little bag of toys, it's called the Bag of Fun from a brand called Willows. He absolutely loves little toys that have feathers on or that rattle or make some kind of noise. He just loves to play with them, them, throw them around and he'll kind of throw them up in the air and catch them. So um, I thought that he'd like these and it says that it has all natural catnip inside so I'm sure he's going to go crazy for these. something that is a little bit more handy on the rhythm. Archie is quite a messy eater. He kind of gets his biscuits and like throws them to the back of his mouth and a lot of the times he misses and they go all over the kitchen floor. So I got him this little plastic mat and you just put this under their food bowls and it just makes sure that everything's clean around the area and if there's any food that goes into the floor it'll get caught on this mat and you can just easily scoop it up. It's got little cats on it and paw prints and it says top cat all around the edge so I thought this would be really cool for his eating area. Next up a product for a little rabbit smudge and this is a little hideaway house for him. So this is made out of seagrass which they can actually nibble on as well as hide inside it so you can always put some hay or straw inside and make it a cosy little bed for them in the winter time or just use it as a hideaway when it's a little bit warmer. So I think he'll really like this, he's got a little bridge at the moment that he likes to hide under so I think that he'll love hiding in this because it's quite dark inside and it also has two little entrances like this. the fish tank. We kind of upgraded 
before I do the aquarium. So I got some necessities for that, so I'm going to some of the things. Firstly is an airstrip. Now these are really cool if you've got a pump that goes into your fish tank that creates bubbles, because this kind of spreads the way that the bubbles come out. So instead of just coming out of one pipe, it'll come out through all the little holes in the stern, so you just plug it into the end, sit this in the bottom of your fish tank, and you'll have nice kind of little bubbles. And it's just a really nice decoration piece for the time you've got it. Onto the fish tank. Once it's been rinsed with clean water, no soap as that will be poisonous for the fish, it's time to add in the base. So we put in our sand and a bowl. The bowl just ensures that the waves of the water don't move around the shape of the sand that you've created and it just makes it a little bit easier to fill up without splashing. Once your fish tank is half full of water, I usually use this time to add in the plants. Plants just make a great hiding place for your fish and also add a lot of oxygen to the water. Then it's just time to add in your filter, your heater and keep filling. Once the water level is high enough for the filter to be turned on, it's time to add in your solution to make the tap water safe for the fish and also the filter start which helps add in some live bacteria. Our fish tank comes with a natural daylight bulb and also a cool blue bulb which you use in the evening. The brand of our aquarium is Fishbox and it is a 65 litre tank. So we left this fish tank to settle for about 5 days before we added any fish. We transferred the fish from the old fish tank over and also added some new fish and some new plants. Please check out my channel S Welcome Makeup, the links will all be in the description box below and I'll see you all later!